baby. Welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. For more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, a, a Snakes and Stuff, my youngest son's channel, Little Kristen, or my, my little son's channel, Henry's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Kristen. And please subscribe to this channel, and I'll dive into the video. Warm weather sets the stage for potential strong storms tomorrow evening. Near record temperatures may lead to showers and isolated severe thunderstorms with wind, hell, and tornado risk. Stay alert for changing conditions as we face a 1 in 5 chance of severe weather amidst a warm, cloudy weekend. As we get closer towards uh, a lot of football watching this weekend, uh, the weather won't be feeling quite as warm as uh, what we're experiencing right now. Next couple days will be near record territory, so much warmer weather kicking in. But that does set us up for some showers tomorrow and then potentially some evening storms. And yes, if you may be on the strong end, generally when we get this warm during the winter, there, is, uh, there are some side effects. Uh, we kind of have to pay for that uh, with the uh, colder air coming back in. So right now we're definitely in the warm sector this sprawling weather system boosting our temperatures for today and gets us near record territory tomorrow. As the cold fronts, that colder air catches up with us tomorrow, that's when we see a chance for some stronger thunderstorms. Uh, so be ready for that about 24 hours from now. In the meantime, got a warm evening if you want to go out to dinner tonight. Middle 40s, about 15 degrees above average. We'll continue to have all of that warmth to stick around late tonight too. So we only drop down to around 40 under a mainly cloudy sky. Keep in mind this is about 10 degrees warmer than than our usual daytime high temperature. So definitely feeling like April overnight. That April weather, though, may bring us some stronger thunderstorms. Though we do see some scattered rain in the morning, and then uh, as we head into the evening hours, uh, that's when things could get a little bumpier as we have that chance for some isolated evening storms, possibly even some severe weather. Yes, we can get severe weather in February if the ingredients line up just right. One out of five risk for severe weather, so if we're able to get one or two of those storms going. Uh, wind, hail, and tornadoes would all be in play, but there are some things working against all of this. Yes, we've got the warmth, we've got the wind shear, those spinning winds that we need. Uh, so that's set up for some strong to severe thunderstorms, but the big things working against all of this, do we get enough moisture with all the cloudy weather? Yes, we're going to be warm, but are we warm enough to really get that storm energy to be boosted up? So a lot of things working against this, which is why it's only a, a one out of five risk for severe weather. So, with all of that, future track shows some spotty light rain early, a line of showers coming through at about lunchtime, nothing severe here, no rumbles of thunder, but as you can see, rain does get a little heavier, so a bit soggy around lunchtime tomorrow. Then into the evening, here's a good example of isolated storms. Only one or two may bubble up, but they could pack a punch, so that's what we have to watch out for closely going into tomorrow evening. We are dry by tomorrow night, so what you need to do right now, just make sure that you've got ways to get severe weather alerts have multiple of those uh, dust off your severe weather safety plan maybe you don't have to use it tomorrow but you're ready to go when that severe weather season does come around and definitely stay up to speed on the forecast tomorrow a bit on the windy end on top of that mid 50s for highs we stay in the 50s on friday but then we begin to cool off back to the 30s into early next week in your most accurate 10 day forecast we eventually settle back down into wintry conditions that may be here by next weekend Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.